I gotta say guys, I've been doing a little bit better these days. You're that incapable as a lens? You can't do your job? So since my tripod broke, I just wish that you could see the 2016 level rig I have right now. You guys are sitting on a big box that holds a nail drill and you're balanced with two eyeshadow palettes. This is literally like, Reminded me of the day I started my YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, there's nothing, nothing like a new F80. Sunshine, almost always get me high. Those are weird lyrics. You know what I have stuck in my head? What's the story wish bone? So guys, why do I look skinny today? <laughs> you know that day? Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. That day where like, it's the tail end of Aunt Flo's visit and your mind starts to clear up a little bit and you see things in a slightly different light and your outlook on life is like a little more positive. That's today for me. It was kind of like a rough month. I got COVID and then like, I think two weeks after that, I got strep throat and my strep throat was like, you would have thought it was just a terminal disease. <laughs> it kicked my butt so bad. Like I was having horrible fevers from it. I had to go see the doctor. I had to get a steroid shot, which I've never gotten in my life, I don't think, because my throat was so inflamed. I like couldn't talk. Um, Aunt Flo came to visit the day I first got a fever with strep throat, so it was kind of rough. And now I think this is my fourth day on antibiotics, so I'm just like feeling better and Aunt Flo is leaving. So it's like a combination of feeling almost back to myself. <laughs> Those of you who are like me and deal with uh, depression probably can relate to this, but I always know when I'm in a little bit of a spike, if I do some sort of like self-care thing. I feel like when you have like clinical depression, your self-care can like be massively lacking. So on a day like today where it's like, I woke up, I showered, waxed my eyebrows, I shaved below the knee. That's how I know I'm coming out of a funk a little bit. Anywho, today is Sunday. I have a finished and ready to go script for my Wish Upon a Star video on the main channel. I need to head to the studio and just film kind of the talk through. Come on, wish upon. All right, kids, you know what this is? This is gonna be the world's fastest talk through I've ever done. See the best thing that happened at work this week? <laughs> this is really slapping. <laughs> we definitely had some fun filming at work this week, but other than that, I felt like this whole week was Zoom meeting after Zoom meeting after Google Meet meeting. I didn't get footage of all of it, but it just seemed like everybody in the world needed to meet with me this week, and some of the meetings were less than positive, but some were fun. I'm pretty good. How are you doing? Good. Your office looks really cool. So are you a nerd? Um, 
Mm -hmm. Are you a nerd? Oh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like any other job, you gotta take the good with the annoying. I was so happy when Thursday came. So today is Thursday. I have just been editing and I feel like I'm about halfway done with this movie review that's due tomorrow, which is good. But I gotta go, I gotta head to my grandpa's. I've been going to my grandpa's every Thursday for I think five years now. Since Yeah, since my grandma passed in 2017. I wish I had been doing it sooner, but you learn things when you lose people, you know? It's always kind of the highlight of my week. I feel like I really pause from work. I don't look at my phone. I just hang out with him and talk about life. I've learned so much about like my own family since visiting him every week. It's just a, it's a cool part of my life, you know? Oh, yep, gotta go. Yeah, it was a, there it was at the bottom of the washing machine after I pulled all the clothes out. <laughs> oh crap. Yeah, I wasn't well, so lucky. I never missed a beat. How do you feel about the house coming down tomorrow? Excited. Ready for it to be gone. How it, do you feel? You don't feel like it's gonna be bittersweet? When's the last time you walked in there and smelled it? Yesterday. I used to hate that smell and now I love it. <laughs> so weird that this is happening tomorrow. I feel so bittersweet. Ooh, this looks kind of creepy. <laughs> it's my last time standing in this house. It's like kind of sad. <laughs> chair, chair. Can I chill you? Hot water. What's that? surreal life experiences I've had to date was seeing what was once my home <laughs> turn into a big pile of rubbish. I felt so many emotions watching this happen, especially seeing that first bite taken out of it, but like my mom said, this is a blessing. And something about it felt so symbolic for me. I just felt this really strong sense of out with the old and in with the new. So after they were done working on the house for the time being, I ended up spending most of the day with my nephews. We played at the house for a little bit and then one of the things they love doing when they're with me is to go make a green screen video. Basically they just pick a song that they really like and I put the music video on and they sing and dance in front of the green screen and then I will put them into that music video. <laughs> they love it, I love it, and I think this one turned out pretty good. So later on that night, we went to Nick's show. He recently joined this band called the Q-Cats. This is the first time I'd ever heard him play. They were so good, even though the mic on my camera will not do it justice. They were spectacular. So many people from our family and congregation came. We had Nick's mom, his sister, 
our nephews, his aunt and uncle were there, but the footage of them got blurry. But friends from our congregation, new friends that we met that night. I met a subscriber named Amy and her daughter, Sydney. Channing came out with our other friend, Zach, and his brother, also Zach. And of course, Nick was just spectacular in my opinion. <laughs> Who put you up there? You think, you think this is funny? Like you can perch wherever you want? Poop all over my doorknob? Well, I guess you can. <laughs> What's today, Thursday? Here I come, Gramps. If I ever leave Missouri, one thing I would miss so much are thunderstorms, like constant thunderstorms. It's my favorite thing ever. <laughs> I wish you could see, I'm gonna show you the sky right now. Apart from like the little meltdown I had a minute ago, this is such a great night. <laughs> I got home at a decent time, me and Nick went to dinner, came home to a beautiful thunderstorm, and now I'm watching Severance. And I could not ask for more. Could not ask for more than this time to get. Could not ask for more than this time with you. Every prayer has been answered, every dream has come true, right here in this moment, is right where I'm meant to be, here with you, here with me, yeah. Groundhog.
Please call me when you get a second. Just text me. Turn it into me, babe. cooked them because when the timer went off I like tried to turn off the timer turned off the oven so then they weren't cooking but they were like in there for a long time and um, the only one that looks normal is the one that was in a paper liner which I only had one of all the ones in the silicone liner are Franken muffins so cool Hello. bye babe bye say goodbye say goodbye Meow. <laughs>